Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. My name is Ben Larson. In today's lesson, we're going to be working with SQL. We're specifically going to be working with MySQL, which is a free to download, fully fledged DBMS database management system. I like it because number one, it's free, it comes with a lot of features, has a great uh, GUI interface, which is uh, their their SQL Workbench, which we'll be using. And plus, it works on Windows, Mac, Linux. It works everywhere, it, and it's, it just installs well and works well, and it's, again, it's free. So in today's lesson, we're going to be focusing on some more advanced, like, ETL-type features. We're going to be learning how to determine if a object like a table already exists before we have to write over or create a new one. So, you know, let's go ahead. Let's pop into the SQL, and I'll explain it better there. Now, as with any lesson I do, I have a full write-up on my website, analyticsforall.org. I'll put a link to this down in the description. And you can see this is check to see if there is a table exist in MySQL. And if you look down here, I've got all the code you need. You can copy and paste it right into your thing. This right here, this first section of code, the first thing we're going to do, copy and paste it, bring it over. Let's go ahead and open up our MySQL workbench. <music> All right, so here we have the MySQL Workbench. If you're not familiar with this, over here on the left, what we've got are a list of databases and tables we've got here. And actually, if I can get my mouse over to the new screen, we can do this. So this is different databases. You can see we've got some that come built into it. Uh, then we have this one I made, the DB test. And you can see the tables and all the views and features you have in there. And we can look at a table to tell you what columns are in there, that kind of stuff. But we're going to start, we're going to build a new database. We're going to call it Sandbox. So this is the code I showed you at the beginning. So all you're going to do, put this code in there. We're going to create Sandbox, how the code works. Create Database Sandbox. Make sure you put your semicolons at the end because it needs a semicolon at the end for MySQL here. Use Sandbox. Now we're telling we made it, and now we're telling we want to use it. And then we're going to create a table called Employee ID, and it's going to have one, two, three uh, columns here, and the primary key will be Employee name. Name. All right. So let's go ahead up, and we'll just run this section right here. All right. Cool. So it built it, and what we'll do is we go over here. You look over on this side. And we refresh all, and now you'll see Sandbox exists. So we just built it, and we built a table called Employee ID with columns. All right, so there you go. So that's the first start. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to introduce you to a new table called Information Schemas Table. This is a great table. What this does, it's actually a table that keeps every table that exists in your database, even these system tables, which are stuff that comes built into SQL Server. A lot of this is just stuff that sits in the back and helps run the system. We're going to add another line. I'm going to add a where clause where the table schema is sandbox. Okay. So now we know this is where that table sits. This is the only table in there is employee ID, employee ID. So we can see it's in the system. Okay. So that's great. So this table right here, information schema dot tables, will tell you every table built into your database here. Uh, and you can use the same table you'll use in SQL Server. It's, it's, it, this is kind of goes across the line. I actually have another write-up for the SQL Server where the code changes just a little bit, and you can use that there. Okay, so now we're going to go into an if statement here. So we're going to say if exists, so we're going to select it first. We're going to say if exists, if exists, and then we have a subquery inside there. So we have select if exists, select star, from information schema tables where table name is employee ID. And if it's correct, if it comes back, I want a one. If it's not there, I want a zero. Okay, so that's my true and false. This is like an if then statement. And here we see it. Okay, if exists, select from employee ID one, it came back as one. See now if I change this to let's call this employee ID one, that table doesn't exist. You can see there's clearly only one table in this database. So if I try this now, this should come back as a zero, which it will. And now you'll see down there, came back as a zero. All right? Okay, cool. So that's the if exist using this table. Now we're going to go one step further. And I'm going to show you this is actually a real world thing I do. When I'm loading automated, you know, daily, I've got files I load into servers, whether they're Excel files, somebody drops into a folder, or whether I'm pulling data from the main data warehouse, dropping into my data mart that I manage at work. 
So, so what I want to do is I want to say, well, if I'm going to create a new table or drop a new table, develop in there, I want to make sure that if it's if there's something already there named that, I need that gone. You know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, to overwrite a table and have my software fail. So what I do is here's the line here. I say drop table. Now drop table deletes an object if exists employee ID. Okay, so let's change this to one. We know one doesn't exist, and we're just going to run. The, oops, go ahead and run this one. So go ahead and run that. And it ran. And let's see if I can get that. I got an error popped up because, look, there's nothing there. So let me see if I can pull the error up so you guys can see it. All right, there you see, when I did that one, drop table... It said unknown table doesn't exist. So that, you know, we know that one's no good. So let's go ahead. We'll put it back to what we had before. Let me get this over again for you. Sorry. Try to recenter what we were doing here. All right. And I will grab, look over here and bring this back a little bit. Sorry about that. All right. So let's go ahead now. Let's put this back to employee ID one. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say if it exists, I want you to drop it. Okay. Run that. And now as you notice, it's gone. You saw that? It's no longer in there. There's no more tables. So the next step I do is I go down here and I create a table. I recreate the table and I insert my data into it. So this is a kind of command right here I would have in my ETL tool. So, so before I create a table and insert data into it, which I'm going to do right now, I need to check and see if there's a table or area that exists. If it is, I want to get rid of it. So, but now it's there. I can load a new table. And as you can see, I can now go down and I can hit select star from employee ID, underscore ID. And go ahead and run this line. And you'll see now the tables I put in there. Okay. So, So again, that is uh, how to check and see if a table exists using MySQL, which is a tool I use a lot when I'm managing ETL processes. Uh, if you want to learn more about ETL, learn more about SQL, Python, R, go to my website up here. Oh, sorry, there we go, analyticsforall.org. I'll put a link down in the description. If you like this video or other videos like it, go ahead, click subscribe, like. Let me know what you want me to go over. I make videos based on personal requests, too. Uh, if there's something that confuses you, you're not sure how it works, could be anything. could be R, Python, machine learning, Tableau. As long as it's data-related, I can probably help you out. Okay. Again, this is Ben Larson, Analytics for All. Thank you.